Hey guys, I figured it was time for another vlog since it's been, I don't know, months and months. And I've been on a roll with videos making a lot of artsy fartsy ones. So thought I'd just have a regular vlog. And my room is clean. I made my bed for you, Mom, because you said I shouldn't make videos when my bed is not made. So just for you. I actually cleaned it before I had any intention of making a video, so it's really just for me. However, I decided to make this video mostly because I'm avoiding doing homework right now. And that's a bad thing, but I'll get it done. I just I'm not motivated enough right now, so I decided to make a video. Uh, I go to school up here in Maryville, Missouri, which is a wind tunnel and a half. Uh, today we had a high of like 27 degrees and mile per hour winds 20? 20 I think? Yeah. And it always blows in your face. So you're always walking against the wind no matter where you're going, no matter what time of day it is. And I work nights for security. I do foot patrols around campus at midnight. So I get to walk around in sub-zero temperatures in the wind in the middle of the night. And I'm surprised they don't have pneumonia right now. So. Hooray, beer! Yeah. Uh, I've been really busy. This weekend's going to be so crazy for me. I work Safe Rides, which is the drunk bus, basically, for Friday and Saturday night. And we have a game against uh, Pitt State. Go Bearcats. It's a playoff game, so it's really big. And um, so I'm hoping somebody shows up drunk or starts a fight so I can kick them out. It'd be, it'd be wonderful. Because basically my job as security is to walk around and look at people. And um, I'm little and I'm a girl, so people are like, why is this girl on security? And I really just want somebody to screw up so I can show them why I'm on security. That'd be nice. I want a foot chase. I want to tackle somebody. Is that too much to ask? I, I would really, I just, I just want to take somebody out. I don't know. Maybe I have some pent up aggression. Huh? But, so I'm doing that, and then I have auditions Saturday and Sunday evening for Celebration, which is a musical that's pretty much all about sex, and uh, there's only one girl part that is speaking and has songs, and so of course I really want that part, and everybody in the theater department is saying, oh, we really want you to get that part, but... I'm afraid they're jinxing it because everyone said, oh, I really want you to get Audrey when we do a little shuffle horrors, and then I ended up not getting cast at all, and the only reason I was in the show at all was because they had somebody drop, and so they moved me up into the cast. So I'm like, please don't jinx it. So cross your fingers for my celebration audition. We're doing singing and dancing this weekend. So we already did the readings, and I think it went really well. And there's six guy parts. And we had seven guys audition. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and I think there's four girl parts. And we had ten girls audition. So, yeah, bummer, Ted. So I'm thinking I'm trying some more deaf poetry. Uh, I have another video. I'll put a link in the sidebar. Um, called I Thought of You. I thought it turned out really well. I got a really good response. But I want to I wanna do some more. I want to work on it. And so I'll probably be posting some more videos of that. Uh, I also posted some videos of my play Fugue. We did a stage reading, which is basically where the actors sit and read the lines and there's no blocking or costumes or anything to get critiques and stuff. And I thought I went really well, but I felt like a lot of people didn't get what I wanted them to get. They loved it. They were like, oh, this is great. This is, you know, awesome. But they didn't get it. You know, you gotta get it. So hopefully their comments and stuff will help me to edit it and make it better so that people understand what I'm trying to get across. And I proposed it for next year, so hopefully the theater faculty will approve it to be performed here. And I won't be able to direct it because I haven't directed a show before, and it would have to be in the studio. So that's like the second level. You go black box studio main stage, and you have to direct a black box before you can direct a studio, and I haven't done that yet. So I have to get someone who's directed in the black box to direct my show and hope that they don't just shut me out completely. So, and that's me thinking way ahead, because they may not even approve it. But I'd really like them to. Because I have, like, all the lights and stuff in my head, like, the scene and the setting and the 
lights and the music and I have it all up there and I just, I really want to do it and it's just me poured out and I want to express that as disgusting as that is. So I'm kind of pathetically artistic. Yeah. I think that's all I have, which means I'll have to start writing my paper. No, wait. I have like two hours of editing to do for this video. Ha! <laughs> so that'll give me more time to not do my paper. Anyway, catch you on the flip side.